today's video is on keeping your glass cooktops gleaming. The video is going to start where I've already applied the solution. Just follow your package instructions and let's get into it. Once you've applied the Wyman glass cooktop cleaner, it's going to look like this over your stove. And if you look really closely, you can see some areas where there's still some stuff there. So that's what we're going to take off with this handy little tool right here. It has an area where you can open and close. Um, they come with this. I always keep it on because of the kids. So you're just going to take this and just scrub the areas that you actually see build up on your eye of the stove. Just burn on stuff. We're teaching the kids how to cook here. So that's what we're going through. And you're going to continue to scrape until you see it all come off. You can see there's some areas here that are going to take a little bit more time. So keep scraping at it. It'll come off. For as you're scraping, you don't want to apply a lot of pressure. This is glass. Be mindful of that. You don't want to apply a lot of pressure. So just take your time and lightly scrape it. And you can see that there's a difference here. There's still some areas here that have to work on. But take your time. Remember, this is glass. This is not something you want to press very hard on. You want to take your time cleaning this area because this was an investment for you. So take your time. Scrub around the areas that you have built up. And then we'll be right back. So as you can see, I'm working my way around this eye right here. My cooktop was a gift. I worked um, really hard, a lot of begging for nine years to get my double oven. So I try to take care of it and show I appreciate um, this investment. It didn't come with my home. Uh, we had a standard um, stove that was a glass cooktop as well, but we did not have a double oven and I needed one because I'm a cooker. So, as you can see, I'm making my way around this eye, taking my time, slowly going over the problem areas. As you're scraping, the um, eye itself, the color of the actual um, glass cooktop heavy duty cleaner goes from white to the brown color. So don't be alarmed it's just showing you that you're actually getting off grime that you probably didn't even know was there i clean my cooktop once a week um while i'm here home alone i don't have the kids around because i don't want them messing around with the stove and you also want to make sure you do it when your cooktop has cooled completely off on my stove there um is some buttons here that'll show you a uh, cooktop on and hot surface so when the hot surface button is on, you obviously are not going to want to put this cleaner on because it will burn. And then that will require you to clean more stuff off. So let it completely cool and scrape it off. And in the end, I'm going to show you what it looks like completely cleaned off. And I'll also remind you what it looked like before. Okay, guys. So you're going to take your rag and you're going to wipe all the excess film off. And you want to make sure your rag is wet um, for those of you that have questions. wipe the excess film off with your rag as you can see there's some areas that I have to go back over and clean just in general on the stove but once you clean it off you want to get that off because you don't want to leave it and let it dry and have additional film here then what you're going to do is take a paper towel just your standard paper towel like those over there and you're going to buff it to shine and just do it in a circular motion, like what I'm doing here. Just take your time and really go in. These areas down here, you don't necessarily need to do that, but that's what you're gonna do here. On the eyes, what I do it on, I normally just do it on any area that doesn't have raised bumps. On my um, stove itself, you can see that there's some raised bumps here, and that's just, um, the infrared situation underneath the actual glass panel. So I just folded my towel in a little bit to get to a cleaner area where there's actually no buildup from the solution we put on there. And we're done with this area of the stove. Obviously I'm not done cleaning it because there's splatter everywhere as you can probably see. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. And this is what I used. Wayman glass cooktop cleaner. You can buy it at Home Depot. Um, you can also get it at Lowe's. Um, 
that's pretty good and it comes with everything um in some cases it won't come with the actual scraper um in the little cleaning pad but when i purchased it it came with everything also they do sell the pad and the scraper on their own at the store so you can also buy those um from home depot and Lowe's. so everything comes together in a package and it's dirty so of course i'm going to rinse it out but that's all the cooked on baked on grime that we had going on previously that's no longer on this okay and here is the finished product as you can see very clean around the eye area we did that i hope you guys enjoyed learning how to use this product um that little puff thing you see underneath the cabinet is my under cabinet lighting so if you have any questions on how to use this product or you actually like these sort of things let me know and also check out my under cabinet lighting review as always thank you so much for watching and you can follow me on any of my social medias at ellie inspires if you like videos like these make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have any comments or questions, pop them down below. And until next time, be inspired.